everybody, welcome back to another episode of Running with Eric, Coach Eric Orton here. And I'm at Jackson Hole Mountain Resort with a beautiful view, catching some shade. It's about 85 degrees, warm for us. Um, and just did a 2,000 foot climb up a wildflower trail here at the resort and headed down a secondary trail working on some downhill. But what I wanted to talk to you today about is how to, how to really get faster and improve your endurance. And like I always kind of like to do using myself as an example or some of my athletes. But like I said, I did a 2,000 foot climb and I'm monitoring my heart rate, I'm monitoring my wattage. And I noticed when the grade kicks up a little bit, my watts went down, which is pretty natural. Um, and then I was able to sustain my normal wattage, threshold wattage, um, when, when the grade kind of mellowed a little bit. Um, but point being is that when we're out looking to improve our endurance, and maybe we've done kind of the same stuff um, for a long time, kind of going back to my variation video of last week, is that uh, we can't always just kind of keep doing the same thing to improve our speed endurance or our strength endurance. And we often have to look back at what is causing a plateau. As in, in my, this climb that I'm doing, this 2000 foot climb, am I plateauing or am I continuing to get faster? Um, same with you on your long run. Are you continuing to get faster or are you plateauing? If you're plateauing, we have to look at why. And many times there's two ways to get speed. It's our cadence and our st stride length. And if our cadence is pretty good, my cadence was good on my climb. So what I need to do and maybe what you need to do and a lot of people need to do is improve their force production or improving their power to increase their strength slide, strength, their stride length. Ooh. Got sweat in my eyes. Can't talk. Anyways, um, so how do we improve our stride length? We got to go back to intervals. We have to go back to doing short hill repeats, 30, 30 seconds, a minute in length, and really, really running them hard and increasing our force production into the ground so our stride length becomes longer. And that's how force, strength, speed type of workouts improve our endurance. It's not just endurance. We have to do that. We have to improve our endurance, but while we're doing that, we have to improve our force production. So try that kind of force production. Typically the type of workout typically goes up to about two minutes um, at a hard effort. So hills and flats. So mix it up. Um, the shorter the interval, more early season. As you progress into the season, the more you want to lengthen the, that, that interval out to maybe one or two minutes then. Um, and, and look to get faster doing that. So um, you don't want to increase that time. Again, that just changes the purpose. So again, look to improve your endurance, your strength endurance by improving your stride length and, and doing these force production um, workouts. So if you're out there, you listen, well, hey, I don't race. I don't consider myself competitive. I don't care if I'm getting faster. Well, these same type of workouts go to add our health and our longevity because it just trains us to get faster and more importantly, stronger. And that's gonna be, you know, the name of the game for any type of runner, regardless of whether you're a racer, competitor, or um, just kind of doing running for fitness. So, all right, that's what I have for you. Hit those intervals and look to do, con continue to do them faster and faster and see how that helps your long run, your endurance. So, over and out from Jackson Peak, out in the background, and Jackson Hole. See you next time.